Yes, hello, perfect. Now you can uh, see me and hear me as well. So hello everybody, my name is Michael. I'm from Estonia originally and uh, I have been Skyward Technology, well, investor and promoter and a speaker in the company Skyward Community for about um, three years now. Actually, it's, I think it's more than three years by now, but um, anyway, I'm very glad that I have had this chance to tell you about this uh, technology and about this information and of course to be uh, an investor as well. So I'm a, I'm a proud investor here in this company and I hope you are as well. So and then that you are reading all recent news and you are act actively um, taking part in, in the process of development as well as sharing the information to all the people around the world or as many people as you know. And then, of course, tell them all the benefits as well about the technology and about sharing the information because it's very valuable for uh, for everybody. Mm, because, as you know, the money is fuel, fuel to the company, fuel to the project. And thanks to all of us, thanks to investors, and of course, of course, thanks to to the creator of this idea and this technology, Dr. Antolionitsky. Uh, big uh, well, uh, I really appreciate him, and, and big thanks to him as well because. Uh, Without him, it wouldn't be possible to be here in this moment, as we know that today we have many, um, many great uh, well achievements already. We have two demonstration and certification parks, one in um, uh, the first one in Belarus um, called Eco Techno Park, where I myself personally have been uh, twice. And of course, last year we know that the, the event uh, EcoFest was cancelled due to the coronavirus pandemic. But hopefully this year or the next year this will take uh, place. Because, well, I'm uh, eager to, to find out what what they have done there. Because uh, when I saw the photos from, well, we had this online format of this EcoFest this, uh, last year. So uh, I watched it and I saw saw what they're doing there. So building the new tracks and then uh, testing the new models. And this is very fascinating. And I want to see them with my own eyes as well. But uh, the second one, the second demonstration and certification park called Innovation Center is located in Sharjah Emirate in the United Arab Emirates. And there are myself personally, I have been also twice actually, well, uh, once but but the first time was uh, was behind the gates when i was there uh, only me so to say and and i was trying with car and and saw the flags you know the feeling when you when you you're in the project and then you see well you have heard from from the news the skyway news that the, that they are going to start construction works there and they have the land and everything and then you go there and you see kilometers long road and next to it there are skyward flags well that's amazing and all these videos is possible to see in my youtube channel as well if you put in my name as you see on the on this slide right now then then you uh, you, you can see these uh, videos yourself as well from both of these parks they're short one minute up to two minutes long so so uh, it should be capable for everybody to to watch those videos but all right, let's let's move on. Uh, today we are going to talk about technology, and uh, the next webinars as well. We are going to talk more about the technology itself and trying to, to make them as interesting as possible. Of course, I have my own frame uh, in which I have to stay. But um, let's see. Mm, well, as, as you know, the the next slide. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I will go behind the screens. Then, then you can concentrate on the on the presentation, and you will see me in the end of the presentation again. All right, see you soon. But uh, hear you now. Hear me now. <laughs> so anyway, for hundreds of years, uh, people have imagined that uh, the transportation is going to the second level, as you can see on this uh, picture. This is also made uh, quite long ago, and I have seen myself a photo on or from a, a candy candy box, basically a Russian candy box, where they described or pictured this uh, 
well almost the same same uh, picture was seen there and then that was also about not 100 years ago but 60 70 years ago so this idea has been around us for a long time but since today nobody has well done it very efficiently and as you can see on the next slides what people have done so far is they have built monorail on the right and then well the normal trains but the, both of them are on a massive uh, amount of materials they are well the, the baton and, and and all the construction is very massive and very expensive uh, which we, which we'll see uh, in the following um, slides as well where i have one conclusion about the pricing this one is made in berlin and there is um, well upside down train so the gold but again take a look at the construction or, or the uh, track itself and just remember that how, how massive it uh, it is and not to mention that most of them use uh, use fossil fuels nowadays as well of course electricity is going more popular and and uh, they they are they are switching it to to alternative not alternative but to electricity so to say but not not that easy and then well uh, what's more to mention is that all these technologies are from past centuries so they are a few hundred years old already and uh, for example this one from china is taking this picture and it's basically like a tram but uh, it has this uh, detachment uh, or attachment uh, places on the um, on the roof not not be, not not below not below the tra train so to say and then that's the that's the main difference and on the next slide you can see this technology is also very very popular and popular use used and uh, mainly in um, mountains where the ski resorts and so on and on the left side you can see this is even thousands of years old technology of course this uh, this one has uh, nowadays materials and, and construction and uh, engineering but uh, but the uh, old days they used rope and then uh, tracks made of stones and uh, basically they they uh, what, what is the meaning of this picture is that the, the engine which pulls the uh, machine is uh, uh, is located in the ends either either end in the front or back end and this one basically turns turns the um, not the rope but the chain and the chain uh, chain moves uh, the uh, machine but now let's take a look at this one this here is skyway and all it's uh, not all but uh, some of its beautiful models mm, and what is different on this picture is of course as you can understand the uh, the construction it's not that massive it's uh, much less uh, it's containing much less uh, materials and it's much lighter but it holds the same way as as the other construction but the difference is is that the breeze stress string is um, put it in the metal metal frame as you can see so this is not just the metal construction but the, inside the metal construction there is there is the string rail pre-stress string rail so so this one is patented by uh, dr anatoly Nitsky, and that's why it holds so much weight and and the material post or the post which hold construction they, they do not have to be located uh, after every 10 meters or so on or built so massively but they can be even up to 400 meters and so on um, uh, long so the distance between those uh, uh, posts or, or or the supports mm -hmm. so basically now let's see why skyway and that's the main question today we have is that why skyway is uh, the technology which has come here to stay which has uh, which is here to to change the world and how it's going to do that so first point is that skyway is innovative and uh, and as you can see on this uh, picture as well this is um, made specially for arab united arab emirates and this is the special design the golden one all the strings as you can see this uh, well perfect uh, perfect design and very beautiful 
and it is innovative because because of its speeds its elegance its uh, economics mm, of course the uh, the cost as well is much less than even the trams and trains today and it can be up to tens uh, to 50 times less depending on the landscape where, where they are going to build it but more of that that we're going to discuss a little bit later so and here is one video i told you uh, briefly before as well back of 2019 when i was there myself i did the video um, i took the video and, and i made it uh, into one uh, file so you can see it in my youtube channel Mm, and uh, and you can share it as well because it's uh, it's for for everybody to to see and and then you can understand and and, and the machine you see that that's my favorite one up there up on the on the left or in the middle of this picture it's called unicar and i got the chance to try with uh, with it as well and i took a, a video of the trial as well and you can see this one also in the video so take a look the second point is that Skyway is ecological and as you can see on this picture, well, uh, picture says more than a thousand words, you know that, and it suits very well with nature um, due to its, um, uh, well, as you can see due to the uh, construction which, uh, which does not harm eye, eyesight and, uh, and of course the ecological aspect comes in uh, about that also because as you can see the high speed uni unibus which is uh, upper side that one goes up to 600 kilometers per hour and beneath it it's possible to attach another um, um, models unicars and or uh, or unibuses and this one uh, go up to 150 kilometers per hour and well basically the, the beneath beneath models be, uh, which are beneath the high-speed unibus those are meant more for um, inner city transportations or between cities which are not located uh, uh, far away from each other and the high speed is meant for between cities or between countries even so because the main goal is to build the transnet uh, connection which connects uh, all the countries from all the continents so basically tens of thousands of kilometers and now let's see the, the, another ecological part which is the wind resistance and due to the fact that the skyway does not have any mm, uh, screen effect as you can see uh, with the car the the picture beneath where is the car the car car drives on the road on asphalt or, or whatever um, material it's made of the, the road it drives there and when the wind when it uh, well cuts the wind the wind goes beneath the car and there is the road and uh, it uh, basically punctuates from there uh, to the car and that makes uh, the wind resistance higher but Skyway, when it's on the rails, it does not have any wind resistance beneath it. And that's, and of course, the shape of the model as well. These ones make the, make the models amazing and, and very wind friendly, so to say. And the, another ecological part, as you might know, well, we're going more and more towards electricity, but uh, in many countries, they still use fossil fuels and they use trains. Well, that's, that train is to make the picture work clear, but, uh, but many countries still have these kinds of situations. So CO2 levels are high and, and uh, it needs solution. And it needs solution fast and it needs cheap but quality, uh, quality for the solution. And that's why there is Skyway. And uh, well, if we, if we go on and look at the next picture, then we can see the, the another effect on the, well, I called it the first level effect. When, and if you look, what well, basically what happens on the first level, it, we never know what are the conditions and or what can the conditions be if there is any storm or or bad weather conditions and uh, on the left side and well the downside down left side you can see the train in the snow and basically when when it heavy when it snows very heavy uh, in uh, in well mostly in nordic countries then the situation is following that the, the trains well, the, the tracks need special heavy trains which will clear the bath so the commercial trains can uh, can take goods or cargo or, or people from point A to point B. But otherwise, if there is a snow, the snow can raise the, 
train of the tracks and that's uh, dangerous and of course the sand and and the shape of or the condition of of the roads are another 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 questions mm, and then in the nordic countries as well the left left side picture i think is made in estonia when they are building the high speed uh, track i might uh, it might not be actually or, or maybe it is it doesn't matter but anyway the expenses which go on construction the road or for example on the right side for ex for making the mountains explode to make a path uh, inside the mountains so so to say it's it's very um, educated and, and developed area in Finland I know the, the mountain explosion and uh, and they they do that very much there to, to build new tracks but it's very costly and if we compare it with for example Skyway then what happens is that we only need uh, for supports we need the land for support area as you can see it's maybe 10-15 square meters uh, at once after every 400 meters maybe 200 meters or even longer uh, even longer distance distances so we need much less land uh, 10 or more times less land so and and we can uplift the track so we can go over the mountains over the forests as if we want up to 100 meters it can go so of course the expenses will go higher as well and then the most reasonable um, mm, uh, um, most reasonable is, is to lift it up, up to 5 to 10 to 15 meters but uh, possibilities are that we can go up to up to 100 meters even so it all depends on the area and the land and and so on and, and how much the government or the people are willing to give for the transportation now let's see what else yes the traffic jams as you as you might understand what the picture says the population is growing that we know that's fact and uh, more and more people are economically well better than they were before or than the population were before and that's uh, causing the fact that uh, each member each family member would buy their own car and then this raises the number of cars and causes uh, uh, traffic jams Mm, well in most of the bigger cities even in Estonia which is a small country only 1 million and a little bit more population uh, there are traffic jams in rush hours and and that's crazy you can sit uh, how hours in in a traffic jam and that's not normal so if we in let's imagine now we have a, a have a system we have a possibility that we go let's say we live a little bit outside of the city we, we go near the city border we park our car, the parking is also one business idea and one possibility to build the Skyway business bigger is that we construct a special car parking areas, we go sit on the Skyway and we try where we want to go and we drive much faster. For example, from 200 kilometers we can drive within 20 or 30 minutes. In Estonia we drive it about two hours, I know in India and uh, in countries where the road conditions are more poor, they drive even uh, six to eight hours, uh, a few hundred kilometers, due to the mountains and so on. The third reason is that Skyway is safe, that's why Skyway. And uh, well, what makes it safe is that first of all it's on the second level, so there are no traffic uh, accidents. And the second one is that we have a special system, the derailment system and motor wheel, which basically if we turn upside down, if we turn the model upside down, then we can, uh, then the model will stay there. So there was, I will tell you now on the story, that there was a accident in uh, Ecotechno Park, I think it was three years ago or two years ago, where um, accidentally a tractor uh, drove uh, in front of the um, test drive in front of the unibus and the unibus drove into the tractor the driver who was in the tractor uh, went to hospital he's well now thank god but uh, the unibus itself it was perfectly uh, standing on the rails or, or perfectly derailed on the on the rails so nothing happened to that. Of course, the cabin was a little bit, uh, well, not so fixed. 
and uh, a little bit broken, but uh, everything in the system was perfectly uh, well. Nothing happened to it, so to say. It, it didn't fall off or anything. So that's why it's uh, quite uh, amazing. And uh, here I have just brought out a few pictures how it would look like in the city. Of course, it depends on the design and the architects and and so on. Every city has its own um, its own well needs and wants. But on the left side, this picture describes very well the situation where basically we can take the plateaus. Um, well, what ship? Well, I mean the cargo ships. They the people need. Uh, need to build ports uh, on the mainland so the cargo ships can take the goods there they will mm, uh, take out uh, take the um, containers which are 40 meter long and then weigh, weighs and they, they can weigh up to tens of, uh, of thousands of kilograms and they take those there and they hold them there so basically they need land for that but uh, now we can build plateaus on the sea up to five kilometers from the coastline and we can take with Skyway Rail the cargo or the people even from the plateaus to the mainland. So we do not need to harm the mainland or, or co cause any, you know, um, traffic jams or collapses or whatever uh, on the coastlines. So those can be for taking sun or sunbathing or so. <laughs> yes. And this is only one system here. This is the um, uni cont, but we have a uni truck as well, which is meant for, I will show this later, but it's, that's what that one is meant for. I will actually show this now. This picture, just a second. Here, what I was describing, as you can see, this is the Unicorn up there, which I was describing first. So basically, these systems are uh, right now in under construction in Sarcha, where the uh, supports have already been placed, and the track as well is uh, is not that far uh, away from uh, from being. Uh, constructed totally and so after that the test drives can can start so basically this this one here yes now you can see all right let's see more what else we have we have a few more points to cover so fifth point is that skyway has its own real models and products these are not just pictures as you have already understood this is not uh, a animation or a picture made with computers. This is the real life picture. So we have this, uh, I already showed you the cargo containers and the unicorns and unit trucks, but now all these models we have as well. And actually we have all together about 14 different models. Many of them are already certified by Russian and Belarus standards, which, uh, and in uh, Sarcha, um, there are, um, there is the certification going for tropical climates, um, all the Pakistan, India, uh, Indonesia, uh, United Arab Emirates and so on. And as we know, the certification process um, in uh, European Union as well started uh, last year, in the end of the last year. And here you can see again, the tropical unicar. Yeah, beauty, beauty, isn't it? So let's see, fifth point. Fifth point is that we have demand for Skyway everywhere. We started from Belarus, we have made our path to United Arab Emirates and actually there are many contracts uh, waiting or already signed free contracts. But, uh, but uh, yes, um, wherever we go, uh, we need uh, this technology. And, and uh, what more time goes on, then the more the need uh, and the demand will increases. Sixth point is that we have a strong and professional team. We have over 1,000 workers already who are working every day toward goal, toward Anatoly Unitsky goal, to, to build and construct and uh, to design and uh, make this uh, idea possible. So this is not any more a, a startup, so to say, but it's, it's a real company already and it's growing. And of course, we have investors, we have uh, half a million investors, at least, who have supported the project and uh, the number is growing as well. And seven point, we are uh, almost in the end. So bear with me, this, uh, this final very important uh, aspects are that it's financially beneficial, uh, Skyway, the project, 
not only for investors but also for customers as i mentioned before in the in the beginning of the um, presentation that our technology is much cheaper it costs less uh, comparing for example with monorail and um, this monorail is these are average average prices and i did a research in, uh, for 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 the project in dubai monorail project in dubai and that track cost 70 million us dollars per one kilometer so it's twice uh, the price almost twice the price that uh, the monorail is the average price of monorail is is, uh, is seen on the slide right now so as you can imagine on the um, flatland it's possible to to construct it about uh, 10 times cheaper than the other transportation technologies and each it's green it uses only electricity which can produce uh, from uh, which can be produced from wind or or solar or another energy sources which are under development right now and they can be used and detached with the system as well and one also one another important aspect is that all this uh, communication cables and uh, internet uh, cables and so on they can also be um, implemented inside uh, construction or inside uh, um, track itself the rails so it's all 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 in one uh, solution for for the say and uh, as well as for investors it's very profitable because uh, at the moment um, 11 more days and for hours there is this campaign going on which uh, well basically we can use when we use this campaign we can get the very high discount uh, the shares with very high discount and of course there are different kinds of investment packages you can use you don't have to put uh, you don't have to invest 5000 if you don't want or if you don't have this kind of money you can invest as well 500 or or 1000 US dollars or if you have more you can take 10 10 times these uh, packages so there are no limits the only limit is in our mind and i urge you to support the project as is united arab emirates government doing and uh, and um, all the people around the world actually not all but but a lot of them mm, and this uh, one well news from recent times uh, recent news where United Arab Emirates government and Saudi business delegations at the Skyway Test Center in Saudi were um, taking a look and, um, well, basically making uh, contracts or, or, or verbal contracts and uh, memorandums of understandings. And, uh, and they want to build the next track in, in a city called Khan a 10 kilometer chest track and uh, more about uh, more about that you can find in the under the news section in in your back office but as you might remember that the, a 15 kilometer track is already um, been signed by the united arab emirate uh, prime minister and uh, the uh, ruler of dubai and uh, we, which will be located in the center of dubai so two tracks there and i know that there are many more possibilities uh, and, and the memorandum signed already but the more of that when the time comes and even i don't know the exact details but uh, these one are, are are more certain so in the end i would like to always show this picture with Dalai Lama this is Anatoly Niska on the right and Dalai Lama on the left and he gave his blessing and said that everything will work fine and uh, i hope you do that as well and let this picture be an inspiration to you and your to whom you share this information so we'll see you next time in two weeks 24th of february so 7 p.m uh, Mo moscow time so uh, actually it's uh, eight uh, i have a mistake in here on this slide it's uh, 20 zero zero moscow time so uh, just bear in mind that basically the same time which was uh happening today and uh see you there then and let's uh, invite more people and let's make this uh, presentation uh, i will make this presentation uh, awesome and and share this information by heart and let you let you
get the information from the source and uh, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation and got something new or at least I refreshed your memory or, or, or I got uh, or you got some ideas uh, to, to hold in, in your mind and to work with. So let's support, let's uh, be healthy and, and uh, stay strong. All right, I wish you all a great evening and see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.